Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Anaconda. Anaconda is a Python and R distribution. Uh, the platform is widely used by Python developer, also data scientist. It is a very easy to use platform for package management as well as setting up virtual environment. So when you install Anaconda, uh, you will also get Python, Jupyter Notebook, and Spider IDE at the same time. So which means you don't have to install those tools separately. So let's dive in. Uh, the first step, uh, you go to anaconda.com, uh, the website, and click Get Started. So in here, you click Download Anaconda Installer. Um, the other benefit of using Anaconda is the, its consistency. So you can download it across uh, all three major operating systems. In here, I'm using Windows. So I'm going to download the 64-bit one. Just wait it to complete uh, the download. Now it has completed download. Uh, let's go to the download folder and click the executable file. Right. In here, uh, we can just click the next. And for the for the agreement, if you have time, you can read through. Just click I agree. Uh, since this is the computer for myself use, I uh, just click for uh, install Anaconda for all users. Uh, this is the for the destination folder or directory that you want to install your Anaconda uh, software. And for here, I just uh, leave it as a default, uh, which it will install in the C drive. And for the Anaconda uh, software, it will take your uh, space two point roughly two point seven gigabytes. Click next. Uh, here, need to note. Uh, so, um, I whether you want to add Anaconda three to the system path environment variable. So, for for the operating system uh, like Mac and Linux, it comes with uh, Python two point seven as the default. Uh, but for for the for this computer, it's a Windows system that doesn't have Python installed installed before. So I just click Add it to the path environment. So click Install. Okay, now the installation has completed. Let's click Next. Going to uncheck this too. So for using Anaconda, there are two ways to uh, log into Anaconda. Uh, one is uh, through the, the command. So once uh, you install Anaconda, you can just uh, go to the search bar and type in Anaconda. You should be able to uh, find Anaconda prompt. So let's click in. In here, you can check the, the Python version that you just installed uh, along with the Anaconda. So like I mentioned, when you install Anaconda, it will uh, install Python, Jupyter Notebook, and the Spider IDE uh, along with the Anaconda installation. So if you want to know uh, what uh, the Anaconda you in just installed, you can just uh, type in Conda info. Uh, if you want to start using the Jupyter Notebook, you can just type in Jupyter Notebook. It will start in the uh, in your default uh, browser. In here, you can see the the default folder is the um, the directory you you type in Jupyter Notebook, which is my uh, my user directory. In here, you can go to desktop or any other folder you want and click New and click Python three. Then uh, you will open the Jupyter Notebook in here. So you can just uh, type in hello world and hit run. Then it will print out the output uh, on the line. Next, if you want to use uh, spider IDE, you can just simply uh, type in spider in, in the Anaconda prompt. Then it will open up the spider IDE. In here, you can just uh, use it as a regular IDE. Type in print hello world and hit the, the print button. It will just uh, print out in the, the right console. Uh, other than using the, the Anaconda prompt, 
uh, you can also uh, use Anaconda GUI, which uh, simply you type in Anaconda. Uh, the GUI name is called Anaconda Navigator. So when you click that, Uh, in here, uh, you can uh, find all the uh, tools has been installed along with Anaconda installation, uh, which include uh, the Jupyter notebook I have just shared, uh, also the R Studio if you want to install in here, and uh, Spider. Uh, it's a it's the same uh, access. If either you want to uh, launch Jupyter notebook or Spider via your uh, command prompt or via the Anaconda Navigator. It's uh, basically the same. Here I just click the Jupyter Notebook. It will uh, open up a, a browser for Jupyter Notebook use. Uh, like I said, uh, Anaconda is also a great tool for uh, for package management and a virtual environment uh, setup. In here, you can just click the the virtual environments. Uh, in the in the base root environment, it has installed all the basic uh, package Python packages. Uh, if you want to create a new virtual environment, uh, you can also use your uh, Anaconda prompt to uh, type in conda create. Uh, dash n and your virtual environment name. In here, I just uh, type in cjled. Then the the environment has uh, just uh, uh, created. Uh, then you can activate your environment by typing conda activate cjled your environment name. One thing you notice that uh, in the Anaconda Navigator has just added uh, this environment. Then if you click in, you can see there's a brand new uh, fre fresh environment has not has uh, nothing in there. Then if you install in here, I want to show you uh, most people uh, using Python that uh, use pip install uh, packages. In Anaconda, you can also use conda install, uh, for example, NumPy. Then the NumPy package has just been installed. Go to your environment again. You can, you can see NumPy and associate packages has been installed. The reason why you install NumPy uh, but install all other uh, packages that you didn't intend to install is because uh, uh, in order to have NumPy to to be used, uh, those uh, dependent packages also need to be installed. That's it for today's video. Uh, if you think this is uh, useful to you, please click the like button below.